How do I properly restart Outlook? Have you ever found yourself staring at a frozen screen, wondering what went wrong? You are not alone. Many users encounter issues with Microsoft Outlook that can be resolved with a simple restart. But how do you ensure that you are restarting it properly? Let's walk through the steps together. First, if you are currently using Outlook, make sure to save any important work. This is essential to avoid losing any unsaved changes. Once you have saved your work, you can close the application. To do this, look for the File menu in the upper left corner of the screen. Click on it, and then select Exit. Alternatively, you can simply click the X button in the upper right corner of the window. If Outlook is unresponsive and does not allow you to close it normally, you may need to force it to close. To do this on a Windows computer, press Control, Shift, and Escape simultaneously to open the Task Manager. In the Task Manager window, find Microsoft Outlook in the list of running applications, click on it, and then select End Task. For Mac users, you can press Command, Option, and Escape to bring up the Force Quit Applications window. Select Outlook from the list and click Force Quit. Once you have successfully closed Outlook, wait a few moments before reopening it. This brief pause allows the application to reset any temporary issues. To restart Outlook, locate the application icon on your desktop or in the Start menu and double-click it to open. After Outlook has restarted, check to see if the issues you were experiencing have been resolved. If everything is functioning correctly, you can continue using the application as normal. If problems persist, you may want to consider checking for updates or seeking additional support. By following these steps, you can ensure that you are properly restarting Microsoft Outlook and minimizing disruptions to your workflow.